Doesn't matter if you say GIF or GIF, today we are covering how to insert them into iMovie. Hey everyone, welcome to Shelly Saves the Day. On this channel, we are doing YouTube Explained Simply and video editing made easy. If that sounds good to you, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Would love to have you be part of the squad. Side note, if you like this subscribe button or this subscribe button, both of them are for sale in my Etsy shop, link in the down bar. All right, so today we are gonna be covering how to insert GIFs or GIFs, however you wanna say them, into your iMovie project. There's a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, you may want to create your own. So what we're gonna do is create a new project inside of iMovie and think about what is the quickest, shortest action you can do in two to three seconds because that's about how long you want this thing to be and then it will loop repeatedly. Try and do one especially where your head or body doesn't move too much because this is gonna come into play in just a little bit and I'll show you why that is important. So for this first example, we're gonna go ahead and do one with myself. I'm going to try and move as little as possible because this is gonna come into play later and be very important. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a short clip where I go from normal face to a smiling face, ready? And that's it, okay? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that short clip and we're going to export just that and you're gonna take it to a site such as Giphy or gifmaker.me as an example. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and upload it and it will go ahead and convert it to a GIF. Once you've downloaded the file, you can actually insert it into iMovie, just place it on top of the video file and then it will show up as an overlay. Now, because it has all of the background and you think it would be a little bit more cool and advanced to have a transparent background, this is why we didn't move around a lot because now I'm gonna show you the second way to do this. So now I'm gonna take you to a website and it's called unscreen.com. Take your file and upload it to unscreen.com. It is gonna do its best interpretation on trying to remove the background. Now, if you're moving around a lot and having a lot of movement, there's gonna be a lot of times where the background isn't gonna be erased very clearly. The only way really around that is to either deal with the choppiness in not transparent backgrounds and coming in in patches, or you can download all of the images. And if you're shooting at 24 or 30 frames per second, just remember for every second, you're gonna have 24 or 30 photos that it's going to download as PNGs. Could you upload all of them into a site like PicMonkey, do a race and try to clean up a lot of what's in the background? Yes. Do I recommend it? No. Have I done it? Yes. So do I recommend it? No. Do you really wanna go through 120 images to try to really erase a little bit of the background? It's not very much fun. Then you have to import it again into a gifmaker.me type of site and then have it arrange all of the photos and then you can download it again. So it's a lot of work. It may be worth it to you, uh, but it may not be. Another way to get around this is to do your actions behind a green screen and that will actually be a lot easier for the website to remove the background if it's actually just a green or blue screen versus a background with lots of stuff in it and you doing motion in front of it. So once you go to unscreen and download your GIF, you can then import it into iMovie as well, use it an, as an overlay. As you can see, there are so many times when this would be much preferable than to have the entire box. Now I do have an account on Giphy and that's why I'm able to download my own media if I upload it there as either an MP4 file or as a GIF file. So I do really like that option. I would recommend if you guys wanted to do that, check into creating your own account so you can download your own media. Now, what do you do if there is the perfect GIF out there and you wanna use it and start it into your video? You're like, how do I do this? I don't have the source file. Okay, we're gonna do one more way and this is a hack. Don't recommend, I'm just saying you can do this, okay? What you're gonna do is fire up a new Chrome browser or whatever browser you are using. And then if you're on a Mac, they have a built-in QuickTime recording for screen recording. So go to File, New Screen Recording, and then you can select a portion of the screen to record. You don't have to record the entire screen. Go ahead and record just the portion of the box that contains the animated GIF inside of it. Then you're gonna take that and you're going to put it into your video. Now, if you really like one of someone else's creations and you would like to have a transparent background, again, you can go to unscreen.com and 
go to if you can find the same GIF inside of the Giphy library. That's what they use on Unscreen. You can use the URL or search for that particular GIF and then it will help you download it with a transparent background as well. So I'm going to show you an example where I took one of my own where it's just me blinking and I'm going to remove the background. So I'm gonna download this one so I have it for future use because I can use it in however many videos I want to because I can think of really cool ways where that would be funny. So chef's kiss to that. All right, so I hope this video was helpful for you to give you a few ideas on how to do this inside of your own projects. Now, if you have any questions on this process, make sure you drop a comment in the comment section. Let's continue our conversation down there and I'll see what I can help you out with. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you like this animation over here, you can check it out. Like I said, in my Etsy shop, it is for sale. And don't forget, I will be coming out with my e-course, iMovie Made Easy. So if you wanna become a zero to a hero, whatever you wanna say, a pro in iMovie, make sure you stay tuned for that because that will be coming out soon. Thank you so much for your time today. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.